well after all the trimming out there I'm I'm pretty much through with power tools at this point uh, I've drilled out the uh, mortises already in the legs and I've just got to do a little cleanup with some files two stools so that's six legs to do and then after that I will be uh, doing a little cleanup on all the ends of the stretchers that go into the legs. I just rough saw them on the band saw. Get those cleaned up and I will start fitting those one by one into these. This is something my son got me. It's body gear gloves cloth on one side and rubber on the other and these rasp really rough on the on the hands when you hold them a lot, and I don't really have handles for them, so uh, those kind of gloves are okay. Got all the uh, mortises in the legs cleaned up, and now I'm doing the tendons on the ends of the stretchers, the outside ends, and just using the files and rasp and cleaning them up a little bit. <coughs> here but with these angles can't do it. So far, so good, and they're sturdy, and they're not even all the way together good. Uh, I did get one of the seats all the way down. Uh, I think I need to clean up the tendons on the top of the legs just a little bit, because I don't want it that tight. Uh, I'm not going to go down any further right now. I just wanted to see, but so far, so good. I like it. It's, it is a very sturdy stool so far, and I think one more day of some cleanup. Uh, a little clean up on my cheeks where they meet the legs, just a little bit on those, and uh, uh, a little more clean, clean up on the tenons going in. They fit fine, but uh, on their own, but when you put the whole thing together, it's a little bit too tight. And when, when the time comes to glue it together, it should be okay. Um, but a little clean up on my cheeks of the stretchers. Um, I want to sand the bottom of the seats because when I get all that together, it's going to be hard to get a sander in there. 
and uh, one more good day and I'll be ready for blue light. So, so far so good. Well, started today. I uh, had my stool first dry fit, took it back apart, uh, cleaned up some of the uh, joints, the little uh, edges of all the tenons and the aprons and all that, and got a better fit on it. And right now I'm taking the legs with my Lee Nielsen spoke shave and rounding the outsides of the legs. The insides I'm just going to kiss with a little sandpaper to smooth it, but the outsides I won't round it. Uh, plans call for tapered legs. I'm not going to go with that. I'm going to leave them like they are. Uh, and then sand everything down the best I can and go from there. I've decided that on the bottom edge of the stool, uh, I rounded the front on the lathe, but I, uh, and I did a little bit on the back, but I ran it back through the planer again, so I'm going to round over the back edge with my spoke shave and then sand the bottom of the stool. I'm not going to worry about the top yet until I get it together, but the bottom will be a lot easier to sand before I uh, put it together. Pressure's glued together. Now let's glue them to the legs. Put some in the mortises. Done. Put a little in the horses of the seat. I have a feeling this glue is going to soak up. I'm going to clean up the squeeze out later, but I won't put any in there. Let's put this 
bad boy together. wedges in there and seal up some of these little cracks around my tenons. These I'm going to uh, do wedge tenons on those. Not all the rest of the tenons, just the ones coming through the seat. some of the other tendons and we'll be good to go and let it dry overnight. Marco Max saw all this off and sand her down smooth.